I remember many years ago, I've learned this the hard way. I was driving to meet one of my wonderful leaders for dinner. And as I was driving, you have to understand one thing about driving is that because you have a license and insurance, and because you have gas and oil in the engine, that does not give you the permission to make attention behind the wheel optional. At the time, they had no law, driving and texting was prohibited. And at that time, we had MySpace. Anybody remember MySpace? Those are good old days. Floppy disks, VHS, and MySpace, yes. <laughs> 395 Bridge. I remember it like yesterday. Driving to my friend, and my MySpace notification went up. I can mention this person. I remember it like yesterday. This person posts, posts on my MySpace a comment. I listened to one of your sermons on YouTube. It impacted me so much. Here I am driving. And I am distracted. I'm no longer paying my attention to the road. I have my hand on my wheel. I have my, my foot on my pedal. Everything is going good with the car. I am not an illegal driver. I have an insurance. Everything is fine. The only thing was missing in that driving is my focus. And you know what was missing in that driving? Everything else. Because right in that second, I don't know where the car appeared. That car was right in front of me. I slammed the brakes and I break the car's main body frame and shatter the bumper of mine, get a big fat ticket and come back home literally devastated. I had insurance. I had gas. I had a car. I had right mine. The only thing I lacked is attention. Most of us think this, if I have education, if I go to church, if I have a good boyfriend who's a Christian and I am ready to get married, if I have everything that I need, it doesn't matter where my life is focused or not. What matters is whether I live right or not. You are wrong. Apostle Peter says, don't fall from your focus. You have to protect your focus as a church we must understand because we have a C beautiful building and a worship band and a pastor that does not mean that we can let our focus be on something else than what Jesus told us to focus on there was no driving and texting 2,000 years ago but Jesus knew that this day will come and he said those days people would plow and drive and text and plow and he would say anytime you put your hands to the plow he says do not become distracted he said don't think that because my hands are on the plow i can turn my head to whatever it wants to look jesus says if that is going to happen you are not going to be able to be fit for the kingdom of god the success of our church is not going to depend on how talented we are it's going to depend on this one thing how focused we are the success of your individual life is not going to depend on how much time you have but how focused you are how focused you are will determine how successful you will be you have to do everything it takes to protect your focus you have to remove these lies if I don't smoke if I don't drink, if I don't sleep around, if I don't look at pornography, if I come to church every Wednesday and Sunday and I bring 10% of my income and once in a while I help my home group leader and when the church has an activity I am there. That is enough. But I can sit here, my mind can be somewhere else, my life is completely scattered and shattered. It's not my purpose to win people to Jesus Christ. My friend, that life could end up in a wreck because your life's value is in its focus.